good afternoon everyone i hold heartily welcome all the participants for the today's session of one week faculty development program on pure and applied mathematics i take my pleasure in welcoming our today resource person dr subsangar sir assistant professor in department of mathematics institute of science banaras hindu university varanasi uttar pradesh since 2016 he was also a visiting assistant professor in the department of computer science and dst center of interdisciplinary mathematical sciences banaras hindu university he has also served indian maritime university kolkata west bengal he received his msc degree from the department of mathematics iit madras chennai mtech degree from department of computer science and engineering iit dhanbad and a phd degree from the department of mathematics iit kawathi part of his phd work was done at the department of theoretical computer science faculty of information technology sec technical university sec republic under the prestigious heritage eramas mundus fellowship funded by the european commission for phd exchange mobility program in 2013 and 2014 his broad area of specialization discrete mathematics graph theory combinatorics computer programming data structure and algorithm theory of computer computation automata theoretical computer science etc his present research interests include chemical graph theory mathematical chemistry graph matching algorithm string matching data structure design and analysis of algorithms he has also he has also published several research paper in journal and conference proceedings such an eminent person is here to share his views on a wide variety of graph model in different fields once again i welcome you sir on behalf of pgn research department of mathematics jamanon college tiruchi welcome you sir over to you sir okay Okay, so am I audible to uh, audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, yes, sir. okay. Thank you, thank you very much uh, uh, for the introduction, and uh, I would like to thank the organizer uh, for uh, thank the organizer for uh, inviting me to address a session and in, uh, giving me an opportunity to interact with the participants uh, for this uh, one week. faculty development program okay so uh, so uh, without any delay uh, let me move to my slides i think it is visible to all of you okay yes sir visible sir okay so if any question uh, the um, uh, please interrupt me or uh, is preferable to write me uh, write in the chat box so that i can read it read them out okay so to start with uh, i'll be uh, i'll be discussing some variety of graph models in different fields okay so is uh, and um, so these are the prerequisites uh, uh, outlines basically prerequisites we, we need some prerequisites for graph theory i will be discussing some of them all i, I hope all of us know some of the prerequisites of mathematics and all this thing related uh, and uh, why uh, graph theory what is graph theory graph i will be looking at some historical part of graph different kind kinds of graph are possible um, we will be discussing some some graph we will be talking about some graph representation and then wide variety of models in diverse field okay. graph can be used then some basic terminology and there is a interesting lemma or theorem like called handshake lemma many of us know i think and there are some special kind of graphs simple graphs and then uh, the, the, these are the standard three problems or uh, old problems or matching problem graph coloring problem i hope um, uh, people have seen that uh, there i have seen there is a lecture of graph coloring so i will not be uh, giving much details of graph coloring problem and konigsberg bridge problem okay so first is prerequisite prerequisite in prerequisite okay so let me move to the so before uh, going uh, to the prerequisite uh, what are the books basically one can uh, it will be in uh, it will be the use of uh, student uh, 
audience, those who are reader. OK, so um, these are. One is uh, for discrete mathematics and its application came through in now eight edition is available in the market. OK, graph theory, D, graph theory and its application Bondi Murthy. OK, so Bondi and Murthy, very good books, basic one of the classic books. Bondi Murthy have another book on graph theory uh, by Springer. OK, uh, and this is for Douglas Waste for the, for the author with um, Douglas Waste has written one book, Introduction to Graph Theory. This is one of the part. I mean, this is a good book for graph theory, those who are for the beginners. And uh, for historical part, one may look into this part. Okay, there is a handbook for graph theory. Okay, history of graph theory. And then for algorithm part of some, some of the graph theory, one may look into the introduction to algorithm. Four man book is a very uh, big one, big volume. Uh, and these are the standard books. Uh, one may look into the point seven and eight books mentioned in the seven and eight. Okay. And um, okay. So first we need uh, some of the definitions uh, for um, set theory quickly because these are, I hope all of us know set is a uh, collection of well defined distinct uh, collection of well defined object, distinct object. This has to be a distinct object. OK, so the member of the sets are uh, elements of the sets are called member. OK, um, elements or member of the sets are called object. OK, so the, and uh, these are basically set is an unordered collection and there is various standard notation of set. This is roster notation and set builder notations. OK, so these are the parts we, I, I believe uh, many of us knows. So I'll be giving quick. Uh, Quick, I'll be going through this part quickly. OK, so roster notation or uh, example uh, is like this. The collection of all even numbers lies between uh, one to thousand. So these are the even numbers roster notation. You have to list all all them down and another is set builder notation. OK, characterize the elements by stating. Some of the properties. So here is the statement stating some of the properties. So one can exp express the set in this form also. OK. And so uh, George Cantor is called uh, the father of set theory, and he has uh, given several wonder, uh, wonderful proofs in the area of set theory and real analysis. So one is uh, uh, one. Uh, many of you know that this is a uh, set of real numbers is uncountable. Uh, diagonalization proof he has proposed uh, and also one wonderful classic one. OK, so I'll not be going in this one. Many of us, I think we have know this. OK, okay so uh, the, uh, after set theory has uh, defined uh, came into the uh, literature, then uh, there is a uh, statistician called John, John Venn uh, with, with uh, um, so introduced uh, the idea of Venn diagram around 18, 1881. OK, so the, all of us know this is set union. This is set intersection. OK, so A complement, A, A intersection, B complement and so on. These are the expression for uh, pictorial representation for Venn diagrams hmm? for different for different uh, operations among the sets. OK, so then the, what we need is cut called Cartesian product. All of us know is, is called this is a picture. So this is a set. This is a set Cartesian product. So all possible ordered pairs basically Cartesian product, right? OK. The five, most importantly, first element coming from First element, first element in the order pair coming from this set. Second element coming from this set. That's it. And what is uh, a fun, uh, relation? Relation is nothing but a subset of a Cartesian product. Okay. And uh, function is a special kind of relation. Okay. And uh, this is a definition of function that every element of a, every element of a should be associated with one and only one, only one element of b. Okay. This is a. Uh, Definition function notation is this one. All of us know that. OK, and um, there are uh, uh, so uh, basically another name of function is called mapping. So there are two, three standard kinds of mapping, one, 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 two and bijective mapping. So this is an example of one, one means uh, for all A, there is a B. OK, so in that domain of A, so this is an example of, of one to one to one mapping. OK, or injective mapping and uh, there is called 
<coughs> mm. and there, there is a called onto mapping for every element of every element b belongs to b there is an element a such that f of a is equal to b okay so basically a, this is a example for onto mapping and uh, a mapping which is both one on and one two is called bijective mapping now come to the idea of why graph theory graph uh, graphs are used uh, to model pair uh, pairwise relationship between the objects okay pairwise pair pairwise relationship between the objects. so this is a pair i need to draw a relationship between the objects so a graph can be used in this basically uh, generally a network can be present, represented by graph you, you can think of any network telephone network road network uh, neural network so that can be represented by by a graph many practical problems can be easily represented by in, term, in terms of graph theory okay graph theory has multiple external application beyond the beyond, beyond the world of traditional mathematics okay so in the mathematics there there are application beyond the mathematics also of course there should be very much very uh, several number of application okay so uh, the application can be found in chemistry operation research social science computer science and so on what is graph? So basically, we will look, uh, look into the definition of graph in two directions. Okay, okay. So basically, set of points and line joining the points. Okay, set of points. These are the points and the line joining the points. Okay, this is called graph informally. Uh, it is a mathematical structure to model a pair, a pairwise relationship between the objects. So pairwise relationship between the objects. Okay, it is a pair of relationship and. Um, Formally, is a G is denoted as graph. It has two components, vertex set and edge set. These are the vertex set, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and this uh, and there is, this is the edge set. Okay, so vertices, node, and points. These are one and the same, almost more, most of the cases. Edge E denote edges, link or arc. Okay, um, those who are from computer science background, okay, or those who have read data structure. So they will be saying that this is a consistent consist, graph is consisting of vertices and edges that connecting uh, that connect these vertices. Okay, the mathematical point of view, it is a relationship between the objects. Okay, it's a model. Okay, okay. So here, look at the V2 and V3. V2 and V3. There are certain terminologies. V2 and V3 are called adjacent. Okay. Similarly. Uh, another another um, um, another terminology is that E2 is incident with V2. E2 is incident with V2. Similarly, E2 is incident with V3 and so on. So, so uh, here, same graph, V1, V2, V5, and the edges are denoted by this one. Okay, the ordered pair. It's unordered pair, basically. is because it is an unrighted graph, unordered pair. Okay, so some people write uh, it in terms of first bracket also, but okay, it is up to the uh, assumption of the reader. Okay, how they 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 can they want to represent the things. Okay, so E, what is E basically here? E is a subset of look at E is a subset of V cross V. That means that E is a relation, right? So a relation. Define what is the definition of relation? I have we have seen E is a subset of V. Uh, a, a, a relation is a subset of a Cartesian product. So E is a subset of V cross V, so therefore E is a relation. Okay. So I will come to the history part of the graph theory. Is uh, until 1878 there was no not, nothing, uh, no uh, not much mentioned uh, about uh, no, no, in the literature. And the uh, the uh, one cannot find any information regarding graph theory or related to the word graph. Okay, so graph theory idea can be traced back to 1735. Okay, so when uh, Leo uh, Euler, Leonardo Euler, present a solution uh, of the Cohen's bridge problem, which I'll be discussing later. Okay, it is a frequent subsequently lead to the concept of Eulerian graph later part. Okay, and um, any uh, question? Anybody have any question? Okay, fine. And so this one. So already in graph. And, uh, and um, this 
Collins was which problem and basically Euler laid a fine foundation for graph theory and as well as topology in the geometry area of geometry. Okay. And later the study of cycle on polyhedra by uh, this was investigated by Thomas Crickman and William Hamilton uh, that lead to the idea of Hamiltonian graph. And uh, come to the Konigsberg bridge problem. Basically, it is a seven bridge problem. Some several people say that. And, and it is a bridge, uh, this city of Konigsberg. Uh, it, 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 there was a bridge. This is a, there was a bridge. These are the bridge. Uh, so, uh, this uh, blue one is the river, basically. And there is a bridge uh, to cross the river. The green color, there are seven bridges. So, at, so this, that is why it is called seven bridge problem. It was problem was asked whether there was a continuous walk to that cross each of the seven bridge of the Konigsberg exactly once, exactly. Okay, so and if so, whether the cross can be found, close to closed walk can be found. And uh, some people say that is the walk all the seven bridge without crossing the bridge twice. Exactly once means twice. Okay, so without the, without crossing the bridge twice, exactly once all the bridge we have to. Reverse. Okay, so I took some time. He converted this picture into this form. So this is the river. Okay, and these are the breeze. So he has taken a vertex here, 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 and they have jo joined them by an edge or arc where bridges are there. Okay, so this picture can be reduced to this form. So this picture basically reduces to graph can be represent in the form of graph. It can be represented into this form. Okay, and um, uh, so around uh, on 26 August 1735, Euler given lecture in the Academy of Science, uh, Saint Petersburg, Russia, and he has proved that no such continuous. Uh, he has stated that no such continuous work across the seven B is possible. Okay, so, and this result came around 17, uh, 1741. Okay, and uh, um, uh, it was published here. Okay, in the journal. And uh, that is why uh, the Euler is called uh, the father of graph theory. Next hundred years, we cannot, one cannot find anything about graph theory. Around 1847, Gustav Kirchhoff uh, was uh, talking about the giving the concept of a tree. Tree is nothing but a concept of, uh, concept of graph without cycle. Think of so basically two is a tree is a graph, connected graph. Uh, okay, without any cycle, basically, a cyclic graph. Okay, um, and uh, it appears in his research work. And um, later, he has uh, used it in the calc uh, uh, calculation of currents in the electric network. Okay, and uh, 10 years later, around, uh, uh, around uh, I think, 56, yes. Around 1856, uh, Arthur Kelly and James uh, Joseph uh, Sylvester and Georgi uh, Georgia Pole Polea uh, used uh, th this idea of graph uh, for in the connection of enumeration of certain chemical molecules. Basically, these are chemist people, and they have they have uh, they are, they were using the idea of graphs for to for the enumeration of chemical molecules. Okay, and um, around uh, 1856, Crickman. Uh, came uh, to um, uh, he was interested to find a cycle on polyhedra, and uh, later uh, Sir Hamilton came, William Hamilton came, and he was given a more general statement and uh, posed uh, certain problems known as uh, for a graph, for some kind of graphs that is called Hamiltonian graphs. And though this idea proposed by Kriegman but uh, currently known as Hamiltonian graph in many books. Okay, so basically picture, look at the picture. These are, these are the polyhedra. And uh, uh, can we, the question is that can we find a cycle? Yes, you can find a cycle. Look at, this is a three dimensional picture. They have, um, uh, this is the two dimensional uh, representation of this 3D mapping basically. So this is the red one is the cycle. So basically Hamilton says that can we traverse all the vertices exactly once? Okay. Can you traverse all the vertices exactly once? Closed, closed work, closed work basically. Can you find a closed work? The Hamiltonians given certain results regarding this. So these are for this closed work is nothing. This one for this picture, polyhedra, closed work is this one and so on. 
Okay. Uh, so what is uh, again uh, uh, this this we have seen. Uh, so you skip. So what is graph we have seen, and what is uh, uh, these are the uh, that E is a subset of this we have seen. Okay. So come to the certain uh, conditions on vertices and edges. Uh, to um, vertices basically uh, finite. It should be finite. Okay. It's a basically graph theory is a part of discrete mathematics. Discrete mathematics many things are as are assumed to the to be the finite. So here vertices sets are said to be finite. Okay, and non-empty. This basic definition is said that vertices should be non-empty. Okay, and the vertices is nothing but it is a basic element. It can be drawn as a node, you node or dot. Okay, and denoted by V or is equal to V of G. Similarly, a set, uh, a, a set, a, a set of two elements. It's a, in every edge basically combination of two elements. Okay, it is drawn by connecting a line, kind uh, of by a line connecting the, those two vertices. Okay, these are called n vertices or n points and denoted by this. Okay, order of a graph is nothing but the number of vertices and size of a graph is nothing but the number of edges. Okay, now uh, there are types of edge. One, one can have uh, if the edge is undirected, that means uh, unordered pair of node. So, for, for example, if the distance. If I am a friend of you, then you are also a friend of me. So basically, for this case, uh, undirected graph, you are at the vertex, and this relationship can be drawn by an undirected edge. Okay. Similarly, I distance from here to Calcutta. Uh, the distance uh, by road, for example, here to out of the department, there is a distance. Uh, how much is the distance? Same path, distance into minimum. So undirected path can be possible. Okay. And uh, next is directed edge can be edge can have a direction. Okay, of, uh, ordered pair of nodes in that case, pair that ordered nodes will be ordered pair. Example, what are the example? For example, if I know Amit, I know uh, Amitabh Bachchan, and uh, but Amitabh Bachchan don't know me. So if I uh, me my, I put myself in a vertex and put Amitabh Bachchan in another vertex, then if I know Amitabh Bachchan, then there should be a directed edge. But Amita Bachchan don't know me, then there should not be any edge. Fine. So that is why direction occurs. Okay. In such cases, so, um, okay. And um, uh, in the initial, in the in the case of directed edge, the starting vertex is called initial or source vertex or origin, and the end vertex is called terminal or target vertex or destination vertex. Okay. Unweighted edge can be unweighted. What is well, unweighted means weight weight is not associated with a particular edge. What is example? Example example is uh, okay. I am a friend of yours, and I have a friend of another guy also. Um, but there is um, because depending on the bonding of friendship, we can give uh, basically there are several software. For example, Facebook or uh, earlier Orkut, uh, they are, they used to give certain weightage, uh, and then, then, then uh, depend that gives the idea of weight. Basically, this is example. Okay, uh, so if I am a good friend of you. So they are will be good a uh, huge amount, amount of age and rather than uh, I am not a good friend of another person. So for this for that case, there will be a shorter number of age. OK, so that depends on the situation. Basically, weighted graph. Oh, sorry, uh, this is called unweighted graph. Unweighted graph. Uh, uh, sorry, I was giving an example for weighted graph. Unweighted graph. OK, unweighted graph. Um, unweighted graph. Uh, what can be the. Uh, you are in the WhatsApp group for the, for example, this group. Uh, so all the members are connected via a group and there are no uh, priority given to anybody. And so basically they all are connected via a graph and um, this, and these are underrated graph basically in a community, in a community. These are called underrated graph. Okay, this is an example of one. There are several ones. Okay, so now different kinds of graph and uh, um, you and V. Basically, at the end vertices, uh, the edge uh, have two edges have same in start vertex and end vertex is called parallel edge, and an edge have st same start uh, start vertex and end vertex is called loop. Okay, so in simple graph, simple graph have no parallel edge, no loop. This is an example of simple graph, no uh, no loop, no parallel edges. Multi graph have multi edges. 
example so look at this example so this is a example of multi graph no more is a simple graph because it has a parallel edge okay this is pseudo graph is uh, it will have multi edge plus loops this is example of pseudo graph look at this is a loop this is a parallel graph okay and um, edgeless graph have uh, no edge graph have no edge this is called edgeless graph empty or null graph or zero order graphs is that means graph have no nodes so this is a uh, the uh, not uh, uh, consistent with the definition of a graph because vertex edge should be non empty okay this part is not consistent with the definition okay okay drawing how to represent a graph basically there are several ways of representation and uh, there is uh, one is uh, how to store this is a graph how to store the graph in the um, computer so there is in situ called incidence matrix so e1 is incident e1 is incident to v1 e1 is incident to um e1 is incident to v2 uh, so so they see e1 is incident to v1 so there is a one e1 is incident to v2 there is a one rest of the place is zero okay similarly um um uh, e e2 is associated with v2 and v3 so e2 is associated v2 and v3 this location one you can look into the this pers uh, this perspective also so from v1 for example v1 uh, what are the edges are there um, associated incidence edge e1 e6 so e1 e6 why two because uh, see this is a loop self loop uh, so that is why it is uh, for the, uh, it's a standard terminology that you have to count the because from this place you can reach to here from this place you can reach here so this basically to maintain a certain terminology uh, so it, it has given two here okay for loop you have to consider uh, this portion as a two twice okay this is adjacency list basically those who have done some work on linked list or something uh, any any idea of list they can understand it in better way so adjacency is saying that v1 v1 is adjacent to v1 v1 is adjacent to v2 so v1 and v2 similarly v2 is adjacent to v1 v2 is adjacent to v3 v2 adjacent to v5 so you can list list them out like this v4 is not adjacent to anyone so this uh, row is left blank and so on. okay there are certain advantage and disadvantage for all the representation so there is another representation called adjacency matrix so um, v1 is associated with v1 two eyes so it is two v1 is associated with v2 uh, this is one a rest of v1 is not associated with the rest of the vertices that is by zero and so on so this say this is a uh, okay this is a symmetric matrix basically okay adjacency matrix is a symmetric underrated graph so some portion uh, you can uh, lead to the spectral area of spectral graph theory where character this, uh, this graph is represented as a matrix and then several properties of matrix can be found from these properties we can talk something about we can say something about this graph similarly there are certain if there are certain properties in the graph can i say something about the matrix or not okay this area is called the, these these things are studied in a particular area called spectral graph theory okay and um, for the direct for the directed graph also one can find the adjacency matrix adjacency list and all those things similar kind of idea i am going to skip it okay so next is uh, called uh, we will be looking certain variety of models in diverse field first one is called in the in the area of biological network okay uh, so this is called a niche overlap graph this picture is called niche overlap graph for the case of ecosystem of a forest okay here uh, it in, it involving it involves the interaction of different species of animal these are the species species are denoted by vertex and why there is a edge if two species so that is why it is written that each species is represented by a vertex and there is an undirected edge between the species if two species are going to um, jump for a for a same food looking for same kind of food so these these two species are going for um, same um, these two species are same for 
looking for same food resources. So there is a age. So this called type of graph is called niche overlap graphs in the ecology. Okay. Second, uh, in the biological network, one can find the protein interaction graph. A protein interaction graph in a living cell. In the living cell, here yeah, there are several cells that they are in the different uh, living animals, uh, human beings, and all these things. So, so in the there are protein interactions in a living cell uh, occurs when two or more proteins uh, in that cell bind to perform certain biological functions. Okay, so th these are the protein represented by a vertex, and these are performing certain. Uh, these there is age if, if they are you know, perform uh, uh, performing certain biological work. Okay, biological function. The protein protein interaction network it is called also. Okay. So protein protein in the protein interaction graph is all is a cell extremely this cell this kind of cell is extremely large and complex. Okay, for the case case of yeast for a case of yeast cell uh, there are more than six thousand six thousand proteins and eight thousand ages uh, interaction basically. Okay, for the case of human human being human cell one lakh proteins are there more than one lakh proteins and they more than ten lakhs. Uh, interactions are going on, so there can be more than 10 lakhs interactions. In the area of social network, another look at another area of uh, the field, social network, uh, to um, acquaintanceship or friendship graph to represent the various relationship between the between the people. Okay, so for example, um, uh, so if uh, Yan no Jami, Yamini, Kamini, so there is an age, similarly, uh, like uh, uh, same like um, uh, Facebook. If I know you, if, if you are in my friend list, I'll be in your friend list also. So there is an age basically. Okay, and it will be an underrated age. Okay, and the two that is to represent a relationship between the people. Okay, so influence graph uh, is a part of social network. Certain people can influence the thinking of others. Uh, for example, Melinda uh, is influenced by Brian. So there is a directed age. And so on. Not necessarily Linda will also influence Brian. So there is no direct edge from this to this. Okay, next is collaboration graph, part of social networks used to, to, to model social network where two people are related to work together in a particular way. For example, Hollywood graph. So basically, in Hollywood, if two people are working in the same project, then there is a represented by an edge. Similarly, and uh, another field, uh, in, in the way, if you look at some other way, uh, field, uh, academic collaboration graph is called. Uh, if, if two people jointly work, uh, publish a paper, then there is a age and so on. These are called academic collaboration graphs. For the case of communication network, so uh, if you were working in a um, uh, uh, local area network where devices are basically vertices, and there are certain communication links between the devices. Uh, these are uh, then um, he, they are also low communication. Then this is a communication network example of a communication network. Another is uh, called uh, call graphs. If you look at main function in a program, C programming basically, main function, there are some several sub modules or sub functions are there. These functions have the several sub function. Basically, this function calling calls this function. And similarly, this function called this function. So these are called basically this kind of functions is called uh, uh, call graphs or direct. Uh, basically, these are example of directed graph. Okay, here you can look at the control flow from this graph. Okay, um, information network. Come to the area of inf information network. So www world wide uh, web graph. This is called web graph. The world uh, wide web can be modeled by a directed graph. Each web website or web page is represented by a vertex. And if there is a um, link given in this web page and that goes to lead to another web page, so there is a directed edge from A to B. If there is a link given in A, there is uh, that leads to go on clicking I can reach to B, then there is a directed edge from A to B. Citation graph in the same way, papers, we do several citations. So this is a, there can be citation graphs. Uh, for software designing and application also, there can be module dependency graph. We have seen an example in earlier also. 
okay uh, software design those who are interested may go through software design there is a called water uh, software developmental cycle uh, uh, there is a called software development cycle so in the case of software development cycle um, uh, um, in the case of software development uh, developmental cycle one can see the dependency of a graph software development i can go through any book standard books um, because in the software design first feasibility then design then writing code then testing maintenance and all those things alpha testing beta testing and all those things are there so there are module dependencies are there okay there are several models for software de designing also okay procedure uh, precedence graph uh, or concurrent processing basically uh, those who are from who have uh, an idea of uh, um, processor um, uh, so there are several process process basically is the instru instruction basically this is a process this is a process operating system there is there is a combination of several process so this is a process so these are these basically is depending on this one unless s1 is executed s3 will not will, uh, will create an error so this is a module dependence uh, precedence graph okay this is a example of a precedence graph okay Okay, same. Okay, next one is in the area of transportation network. This is an example of um, uh, airlines route. Example of airlines route. No, those who don't know, uh, 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 please go through flightradar24.com. It shows the flight um, uh, is trying to show real time movements of the uh, uh, flights all over the world. Okay, so which are looks like this one. Okay, there all the flights are following in a certain parts. From for example, here to Pakistan, some flight is moving, so they will follow certain path. So in only from Pakistan to India, some flights are coming back. They will not follow the same path. They will follow another particular path, um, assigned path. Uh, so this it in in this way, it can be represented via a graph. This airline. So similarly, a road uh, road uh, network also can be represented. Example, Google Map. Look at Google Map. Road network can can be represented. Okay, next is a tournament graph, round robin tournament. Um, uh, tournament also you can have certain models of graphs. For example, IPL in from uh, Indian Premier Premier Leagues and, uh, and uh, Wimbledon. There are certain round robin games are going on. For example, here uh, a, a team A or A beats team B, so there is a directed edge. So like this. So team A is unlimited because there is a director edge to all the vertices, and uh, team three is winless because uh, it, there is no directed edges from team three to any, any of the vertices. Okay, is winless. Okay, what about degree of the vertices? Degree of the vertices is nothing but the number of number of uh, edges associated with this uh, vertice. For example, here degree of is vertice is three. Here degree of the vertices uh, can be considered as two. Because it is associated with this edge, this is associated with this edge. It is a common practice to assume that this is a degree of is two, uh, and degree of this vertex is three. Number of edges associated with this degree of this vertex is called um, is, is zero. That is why it's called the isolated vertex. A degree of uh, the, the for pendant vertex, degree of uh, vertex is one and so on. Okay, uh, that is why convention is. Is that uh, if we count two if for for the loop we count degree twice parallel edge contributes separately okay okay next is uh, <coughs> neighborhood degree for a vertex i'm not going in the definition i'll give an example okay for for degree we are looking for associated number of associated edge for neighborhood degree we are looking then the assess number of associated um, add Number of adjacent. Uh, look at the adjacent vertex. Some some their degree to this place. This is the number of degree and all those things. Uh, skip. I will try to skip this one. This is a Hanshin lemma. Hanshin lemma says that uh, the, uh, basically uh, the total degree, total sum of the degree is nothing but twice the number of pages. And the proof idea is very easy. Look at this graph. This edge is associated to this vertex and this vertex. The basically this bit age is contributing to the degree of this vertex one by one. For the, to this age is also contributing to the degree of this vertex by one. Okay, so that is why if you uh, sum sum them up, 
that is why his total degree is nothing but twice the number of pages and it is also says that total degree should be the even number okay it also says that total degree should be of even number okay total degree of okay so i will skip this one a number of odd degree vertices is given in a graph so those who are interested may please go through is very easy there are some special uh, simple graphs is called complete uh, graph this is denoted by uh, complete graph with n vertices denoted by kn this is k1 complete graph um, a simple graph in which every pair of vertices are adjacent okay this is called complete graph the for two vertex complete graph is this one for three vertex complete for this one four vertex five vertex six and so on okay a number of edges is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2 very easily proved can be shown by common tricks basic common Okay, this is a cycle graph. Okay, cycle graph. At least three vertices are required. So this is cycle graph three, four, five, and six. Four. Next is wheel graph. Wheel graph W three. Put a vertex here. Next is wheel graph W three. Put a vertex here and join this center vertex with the rest of the vertices. And so this is W three, W four, W five, W six, and so on. Wheel graph. Okay, this is n cubes. Or in dimensional hypercubes, basically look at the picture. This is Q1, and this is Q2, this is Q3. There are certain uh, convention, basically. Uh, basically, two vertices are adjacent if and only the bead of these bead strings that are rep represented, uh, that they represent, are differ by exactly one one bit position, basically. This vertex is represented by a bit, this vertex is represented by a bit. If you look at the, basically, um, having distance, look at the having mismatch, number of mismatch is one here. Here, look at the having distance, number of mismatch is one here. And so there is edge. If the, where there is the number of mismatch is one, there is edge and so on. Q3, look at this one. So for this vertex, number of mismatch is one, number of mismatch is one, number of mismatch is one and so on. Q3. Similarly, I look at, uh, this is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. And look at Q4. This Q4 and this Q3 and Q3, and th there is a edge connecting them, and so on. Next is bipartite graph. Basically, graph can be partitioned. Some graph class of graphs can be partitioned into two, uh, from in, uh, into two parts in terms of vertices. Okay, so these vertex sets are uh, uh, represented by U and V. These are partitions. That is why it is called bipartitions. Bipartitions. Uh, it can the idea can be extended to n partitions also. And age, what about age? Age will be the relation between the vertex from this partition to another partition. There is no, no look at, there is no age between this vertex of same partition, between the vertices of same partitions. Okay. Um, C6 and K homework, those who are, who can see the K3, K3 is, home, uh, is bipartite. Okay. K3 is not bipartite in a moment we will see. Okay. Okay, so uh, next is bipartite graph is two colorable. The idea of coloring graph coloring has been given, I think, in the class. So I will not go into this. Bipartite graph is every bipartite graph is two colorable. So basically, look at so this is two colorable. So why K3 is uh, not uh, bipartite? Basically, K3 cannot be two colorable. And we cannot use two color to color the K3 completely. Okay, so and not only this, uh, odd length by bipartite graph will not have all the odd length cycle okay so um, there will be every bipartite graph should have if some graph have odd length cycle it will not be bipartite okay so this is complete bipartite graph represented by k m n is m vertex n vertex this is k2 for for example and this is a complete bipartite graph so every associated association with all the vertices rest of the vertices of other partitions this complete bipartite graph can be represented via a uh, adjacency matrix. Look at the matrix, basically. Matrix represent. This is some class of matrix. Okay. okay. So matching problem is example basically coming from uh, um, coming from uh, bipartite graph. I will not go in detail. Okay. So there are list of women and there are list of men. Uh, for example, in a matrimony site, uh, if, it is if it is assumed that. Uh, a man is looking for, for a pair of an of opposite sex. Basically, um, we, a person is looking for another opposite sex, opposite sex marriages uh, is possible. If this is the idea, 
then uh, we mean women uh, is, is a matrimony side I mean, women uh, is uh, have the feasibility to match up with m2 m3 m4 and m5 and so on depending on the certain criteria given by posed by this woman and these men and so on okay matching so from this idea matching idea came the matching is a set of disjoint edges in a graph basically set of disjoint edges in a graph and i will skip for the perfect matching so this is a basically a example of a set of disjoint edges means no there should be no vertex in a edge set in max basically matching is a subset of edge set basically matching is a subset of edge set show that in that subset no edge should share a common vertex basically so matching this is the idea of matching and same thing happens in the course of assignment problem this is basically this is also a bipartite graph i have a list of worker i have a list of machine and i can give assign a certain worker in a certain machine and depending on the certain weight how this uh, man or worker can uh, um, perform they depending on this these weights are given this is example of weighted graph also okay so next uh, idea of uh, um, regular graph a simple graph is called regular if every vertex is um, every uh, vertex uh, of this graph has the same degree okay so for example kn is a regular graph uh, 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 kn is a regular graph for example and um, uh, irregular graph if, is, if all the degrees of the vertices are not the same is called irregular graph there is the idea of stepwise regular graph very recently came if stepwise irregular graph means if the difference between the degree of the degree of the degrees of the any two adjacent vertices are by is one this is called stepwise irregular graph and um, from the air we have recently proposed the idea of two, two stepwise irregular graph and we can generalize it into ksi graph and uh, though uh, this is the example of uh, two si graph see look at degree of these vertices three degree of uh, this is a uh, one si graph uh, degree of these vertices is three degree of these vertices is two uh, the difference between this degree is nothing but one this is one si graph this is a two si graph okay degree of these vertices are one two three four five and this is uh, difference of this vertex is nothing but two so basically is a three stepwise irregular graph okay and so on okay and this is a two si graph three degree of this vertex is three degree of this vertex is two so difference is two uh, the sorry difference is one difference is one here degree of the vertex is four degree of this vertex is two so difference is between the vertices is two si basically this is a two si and this is example of a 2SI graph. All so those who are want to know more about these graphs, 2SI graph basically or KSI graphs, you may go through this paper. Recently came, very recently came. Uh, we have um, published it into the scientific scientific paper journals. Okay, um, on two step wise irregular graph. Okay, so there is an idea of complement of a graph. Okay. So I uh, same the set complement like it is a set set complement. Okay, I'll not go in detail. Planar graph idea of planar graph, uh, a graph uh, a graph that can be embedded in a plane. Embedded means that can be drawn in a plane is called planar graph. This is K4. Does not seem like a planar graph, uh, but if, if you look at if you draw the graph in this way, so that there is no edge intersection. See, there is a edge intersection, but if you draw this edge in this format, so there is no edge intersection. So this is called a uh, edge crossing, basically edge intersection or edge crossing. So this is called a planar graph. K4 is a planar graph. Similarly, it can be represented in this format also. Is a planar graph. This is a planar. This is a planar graph. Sorry, and this is a not a planar graph. What about Q3? Q3 is a planar graph. Okay, okay. we can embed into um, uh, into one dimensional laser plane. Okay, so this is a planar graph. Uh, so this idea uh, from the planar graph idea the graph coloring portion problem came i'll skip it this one okay earlier it was saying uh, saying that any planar graph is uh, five colorable next uh, some 
there was a conjecture conjecture is called every planar graph is four color well it do it it take you took lot time lots of time to prove um, many uh, computer based proofs are also given but later after several false try uh, false trial revert uh, uh, is uh, around um, oh, 1990s there was a proof after very false proof there, there was a proof so this is an example of in the diary you can look at this kind of picture is there this is an example of planar graph you can see that there are four colors maximum four colors are used see red blue oh, green and uh, yellow okay okay so um, we i am uh, close to the end of my session uh, what is uh, so, so i want to draw this graph basically um, without um, without uh, without uh, taking uh, the pen out of the paper and i should visit every every uh, i should visit, i should um, while drawing this graph i should not uh, cross um, the edge twice basically i should not draw the edge twice is it possible um, so here so if you start from this place it may be possible and you should in so look at you you can try at home because it is a online class i it is a online lecture class um, the platform it is diff, very difficult right now for me so if, if, if you um, hint is that if you try from uh, try out from uh, if it is a closed work it is difficult it is not possible uh, i have not uh, all has have proven that um, so but it is not a closed work so you can you can trace all the edges exactly once okay start from this vertex uh, and end you should end with this vertex and the trick was all are given it have a, it should have a maximum okay i will not say that trick now look at this one so start you start from this place this 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 this, this. and it start or start from this place this here this no this 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 or you can say this 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 uh, you can you can you can check it from this place uh, so uh, it is not possible because a uh, degree of this vertices is 3 degree of this vertices is 3 degree of the vertices is 3 degree of the vertices is 3 basically it is not possible to find a closed work okay so basically and what about this one so basically it is uh, check it at home and the euler says that if uh, closed work is possible if if the graph have uh, all the degree even number of degrees so this is say 2 2 degrees 2 4 this is 2 2 this is 4 this is 2 this is 2 and this is 1 2 <coughs> 3 1 2 3 this is 1 2 3 so this uh, sorry 1 2 3 4 degrees 4 all the degrees are even degree so here closed work is possible here closed work is not possible but you can draw them uh, you you will start start vertex and in vertex should be in different position okay so so this basically same idea of konigsberg with beach problem and euler says that the um, um, that it will contain more than of okay euler said uh, there must be an even number of vertices of uh, in in the order of vertices and uh, hold on all has given all it says that basically uh, here it is mentioned that uh, you should uh, the network contain two or degree vertices it is possible okay well, how is it possible as i said begin at that uh, or degree vertex and end and after end of all the paths you should be in a position to finish it in the must be you should end up with um, another odd degree vertices then this kind of path is possible work is possible and what about close work or close work says that all the all the says that uh, all the degree of the vertices should be of even degree even that's what is saying that uh, two odd degree vertices is traversable and um, if all are even all are all are of, that is why it is not traversable see this is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 
one two three one two three this is not reversible hmm. so those who want to eat, look uh, try it out at home they can find the allerian tour okay this kind of tool is called allerian tour yeah or already in work so for this graph, there are certain, um, I have tried at home, you can look at. Okay. There is no Eulerian tool because C, because degree of C, degree of C is uh, odd and degree of F is odd. Eulerian tool is not possible. Okay, so that's it from my side. If anybody have any question, they may please ask. Dear participants, if you have any clarifications or doubts, you can post it in the chat box. Or you can. OK, so if uh, sir, there is a question, sir. Any application uh, for step irregular graph? Uh, Stepwise irregular graph, yeah, there are several applications uh, for the stepwise irregular graph uh, uh, in the case of network computer network okay so where for example um, there are several radar uh, basically where a computer network means where uh, in the electronics where radar study uh, radar related studies are going on and then there are telecommunication network there are several applications of stepwise irregular graph So okay, and, question, and, 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 and if you look at the paper, uh, there was a strategy I have given uh, one how one can generate uh, for a given uh, stepwise irregular graph, how you can extend the higher level of graph, basically kind of how to extend the graph so that um, um, uh, to, to basically um, to maintain. Uh, so if you or look at the tower, telephone tower, uh, not uh, not placed in a uh, closed position. It it is distributed in the in area in such a way that all the uh, people in that area is covered uh, by it or in uh, so, so that they can get a call, or receive a call, or make a call properly. No network failure and all those things. Every telecommunication network people are trying to do. So distribution of this tower is depending on these networks. And I have shown in that paper that how one can extend that uh, locations of the uh, extend the graphs in a such a way or how one can similarly this from example point of view, one can put the towers in such a way that um, there should be less number of uh, network failure. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your wonderful session, sir. Mm. Okay, sir. On behalf of the Department of Mathematics and Jamal College, on my own behalf, I express my sincere thanks to Dr. Sivsangar Das, sir, for his wonderful lecture on uh, variety of graphs model in different fields. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, welcome. welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm. Shall we wind up the session, sir? Okay, thank you. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Yeah, participants, the feedback link is posted in the chat box. The link will be available 
only for 15 minutes. Please do post your feedbacks as early as possible. Thank you.